Hey, it's Time of Dish with D. That's me. It's Saturday, and Saturday is when I get weighed and when we do the meeting topic du jour. Now, you know I don't get weighed every week, but I did get weighed today, and I lost a pound, I think 1.4. So it brings me back to 162. So I am four pounds over goal. So I'm doing it, people. I'm losing. I have a horrible Weight Watchers story for you, but we'll get to that later because I'm not sure I'm staying with Weight Watchers after what happened today. <sighs> I'm telling you, thank God I don't let this affect my journey. But we are here for the topic du jour. And the topic du jour is your healthy meals deserve some fanfare and here's why. I talk about this a lot. Why should fancy dinners get all the attention? Enjoy your next smart point friendly meal at home by setting up a scene the same way you would set up a special occasion. I say this a lot, you know, I do my Dollar Tree hauls and I always get fun glassware when I go because this elevates my tea, this elevates my juice or my tea. I like to have things in fancy glasses because it makes it feel a little bit more special. And that's what this topic is all about. Set the table and the scene. Break it out the nice dishes, light candles, put on Alexa, put some beautiful music on because they want you to enjoy your meal. Why are we not enjoying our food? Because it's light, because it's diet, or be, it's, it's a meal and all meals should be savored and enjoyed. Remember that. Savor, <laughs> savor the experience. Sit down, enjoy your masterpiece sans distractions. Focus on your meal and company and eat mindfully, slowly, if, relishing each bite. I cut my food in microscopic portions these days. I was a very fast eater prior to um, getting to goal. But one of the things I worked on was slowing down because <clears throat> I would be done in like 30 seconds. And then everybody else would still be eating. And then so me watching them eat made me more hungry. So by me slowing down, I savor the bites. I savor the taste. And they didn't get done before me. So when we're all done together, I would have to watch them eat. So call it something special. It is way more exciting to eat fluffy French omelet with fresh summer vegetables and scrambled eggs. You can also take it over the top by making it actually, making an actual paper menu. I wouldn't go that far, but I would put it on a beautiful dish. I got these at the Dollar Tree. Here's another thing I've been doing lately. I was just talking to somebody about this last night. Funny that it comes up today. I make my overnight oats in my jar, as you know, and I eat them out of the jar. Well, lately I've been making an experience of that. I've been pouring my overnight oats into my bowl and make what I call a power bowl. It's the same oatmeal. It's just, it looks so much prettier and fancier in this cute little Dollar Tree. It's an interesting shape of bowl, but it looks so much more elegant in this bowl. And I top it with fruit and I make the fruit look pretty. It looks like, if you don't watch my Instagram post, you will not see this because this is where it is. Though I did put it on my once a week, what I eat in a day. This is the bowl you're seeing my power oats in. And they look so pretty with my, I arranged the fruit to look like a sun. It just, you know, it makes you, you eat with your eyes first. So when you see something beautiful and it looks like, you know, I, and, and I tell you, it takes me no time at all because it's already cut, you just have to place it. Take the 30 seconds and place your fruit. It just looks really nice. It looks elegant. It looks elevated and it's nothing more than my overnight oats but when you put it in a bowl and call it a power bowl totally different let's dive a little deeper does eating your favorite at your favorite restaurant for your birthday feel super special that's because the way your meal is presented and described even in the surroundings you can't help but feel happy and connected and in other words a little tablescaping and ambiance can go a long way I do have a tablescape right here to show you. When eating healthy at home starts to feel boring, shift the way you think and display your meals. Honestly, you have to do beautiful presentations. Arrange your vegetables on the plate in a fun way. Put your potatoes with like a, like a um, scoop or like a mold. I do that with my rice. I put it in the cup and it comes out like a little disc of rice. And then you pour your vegetables and your you know, protein on the side. It looks really elegant. 
top it with a little bit of sesame seeds. Not a lot, or sunflower seeds. It gives it a little bit of texture, it gives a little bit of depth, it just changes it up a little bit. Fresh herbs, put some green on your plate. How pretty would that look? Treating them the way you would treat a special occasion meal can help them feel just as joyful. Again, they'll find the joy, finding the joy in the food you're eating. If you're not enjoying your food, there's something wrong. I enjoy everything I eat and I make everything I eat an occasion. My family gets a little bit sick of it, but I always say, oh well, that's how I get through. You can also inspire you to keep eating well because you make healthy choices feel significant. Just because it's healthy doesn't mean it's not delicious and it's not pretty. Like Again, if you're eating overboiled broccoli and overcooked chicken, it's not gonna look pretty. But when you grill it beautifully, have this grill marks and you roast your broccoli and have that little char on the tips of the broccoli, it looks beautiful and you arrange it beautifully on your plate. All right, finding joy. What's the recipe this week? Let's see. Crispy buttermilk onion rings. You know I love onion rings. So what are they crisping it with? <laughs> Flour, bread, panko. They air fry them? Air fry them. Mm, I might make those. They look really good. What are the points? Six points. Five onion rings is six points. I'm not fond of that. But like I said, I tell us to you guys before, Weight Watchers has everything with higher fat. Well, this is using fat-free eggs, no, low-fat buttermilk. Like as opposed to using like, people say, oh, Weight Watchers teach fat-free and sugar-free. No, they don't. None of the recipes really are geared to fat-free and sugar-free. We tend to do that to see the glow of the points. Because I'm not gonna spend, honestly, I'm not gonna spend six points on onion rings. I mean, if that was the whole meal, I wouldn't have a problem with it, but for my side, for, for a vegetable, yeah, I'd have to find a way to tweak that bad boy a little bit. Hunger always uses brand cereal. It's really good. Stress hers with the brand cereal. So let me show you my tape escape. So I can do this without shutting the camera off. See, you put yourself a little placemat. You have a nice dish and a matching bowl. You have a, now you don't have to do the, the, the napkin. You could use a paper napkin, but I'm just trying to show you how elegant this looks. I mean, look at that. Mine is sans that. Look at that. Who doesn't want to come and sit out here and have breakfast like that? That is how you do an elegant, easy tablescape. All from the Dollar Tree, except my silverware. Don't use beauties and plasticware. Ugh. How many times I've broken a fork eating? Yeah, I don't use plasticware. Even I just got a cute little set on my calls box. It is a um, silver that I can carry with me because I can't do plasticware. I constantly break my fork. So, yep. Go to your Dollar Tree. Dollar. These are all Dollar Tree items. And how cute! I had a matching goblet. I can't find it. Maybe I broke it. But look at that. You can do your tablescape for a few dollars. And how fun are these fun plates and bowls? you just have to make it special because when you eat it is special it is and you put a lot of work into your food so I put a lot of work into my food and I want it to look beautiful and I want to sit down and enjoy my food I don't want to be feeding everybody and eating on the fly no you need to sit down take your time and have a moment with your meal because that's the time to enjoy it savor each bite find a cute little dip in sauce and dip your chicken in it there's some great low sugar barbecue sauces and dipping sauces. You gotta dip your chicken, people. Don't be afraid. So, oh, my Weight Watcher story. Yes, I went in to get weighed today. And apparently, I belong to a franchise, which I knew, but they don't follow the same rules that International does. So, since I'm already paying through International, I would have to re sign through the franchise. Well, that you know, I'm not doing that. Or I would have had to pay $15 a week to stay there. And I'm not doing that. So I was kind of a little put off in a way because I wasn't, you know, I wasn't looking to go for free. I was willing to pay. But I wasn't gonna, you know, if they don't follow the same rules international, I get that they're a franchise, but that doesn't mean I have to stay there. So I'm on the fence whether I'm going to, I'm gonna to talk to international on Monday. And if, if they're not gonna make me happy, 
I'm going to go to the track bites. You know, I can't, you know, you have to do what your budget allows and what you could afford to do and what you really feel good about doing. Um, I would have never turned anybody away. I would have found a way to work it out because that's what you do. Um, especially for somebody who's put in as much time as I've put in, you know, it's, it was just a little bit hurtful in a way I kind of thought, but you know what? I will survive. I have my community. I, you know, really don't, I wanted to be there. I didn't need to be there, there, which is a good thing. Um, so that is how I'm going to go from here on out. I will keep you guys informed next week and see. I'm paid for the month, so whatever I do, it probably won't start till August anyway. Uh, so I will see what happens then. Um, if, I could, if I could work out to do with international, I'll just find an international meeting, which there is some in my area. It's not that far. There's one, I think, two miles that way, and I think there's one eight miles that way. So I have to go a little bit further, but you know what? You do what you got to do sometimes. So that is it. Um, I did lose. I'm still on the purple plan. I will still be on the purple plan this week. I am enjoying the purple plan. I will say that I I've, have been really enjoying the foods and choices that I've been making. And like I said, you know, I'm taking a nutrition class. I told you guys that. And I did the first week's course. And what I did learn was why the purple plan is successful when you do it correctly because those foods that are in there are, are what give your body energy and not stored fat. Some foods break down into energy and some foods break down into stored fat. And those purple foods are good foods in moderation. Yes, you have to weigh them. Yes, you have to measure them. Yes, you have to keep in the portions. You can't eat a whole bag of brown rice. Yeah, even though it's not stored in fat, too much of it will be. So that is why I am jonesing on the purple plan the last, this week too. I'm gonna to stay on it and see how I do. So follow me if you are a purple plan person. I do give the points for blue as well because I know them. I've been blue, blue and blue too long not to know those points. So that is how we roll here at Dish With D. Will I always be on purple? I highly doubt it. I probably will go back to blue eventually, but I am enjoying the purple plan. I'm enjoying the rices, the quinoas, the oatmeal. You know more about the oats. So that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this meeting and I hope you topic du jour and I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know how you did this week. Let me know what plan you're on. If you're thinking of turning to the purple plan, remember the importance of purple, weighing and measuring and keeping in portions. Repeat after me, weighing and measures and keeping two portions. We can't eat all we want. These zero point foods are not a free for all. They are not. They are meant to be eaten in their portions. Just remember that. So I am going to head on out. I'm going to go and have my breakfast. I haven't eaten yet and I'm hungry. So have a great rest of your day. We will dish another day. Have a great day, folks.